The most important thing to know about the plot of Hamlet is that it's so convoluted that the main character is kidnapped by pirates, and it's not even really a major plot point. This is it. This is my favorite post. A chunky boy. Reduced. I love crested geckos because they have the expression of an animal who has exactly one brain cell that digs around their skull like a window screensaver. Look at him. Majestic baby. Girl help, I Mandor Handhook Cardor! Why does Squidward face show more emotion than Elsa's? <sniffs> His paycheck. An activate charcoal and grapefruit smoothie called What Will Your Meds Do, Winky Face? Actually, it is a juice. Wait, no, this was a joke. You're on antidepressants and you drink this to meet the devil. I'm what they consider smart passing. Oh, my gender? 1940s detective who is also a dramatic little bitch. My gender. 1940s thief who is also a dramatic little bitch but has a hat. What what type of hat though? A sexy one. Heart shaped bestie necklaces that say I hope you die and I hope we both die. McDonald's Sprite and perceiving myself evoke the same emotion. Also hotel air conditioners. Also walking out of a movie theater and into the sunlight. Why? Are these all true? All you girls out there had that stage where you played online dress-up games, don't even lie. What do you mean, had? And what do you mean, girls? Hey, here's a delicious peanut butter and jelly. Getting real sick of your lies, Sonic. Being an adult is a weird combination of wanting to sleep all the time, but also reacting to it being your bedtime, a little like a toddler who doesn't want to take a nap. Yeah. Fuck it. Vampire with a gun. Count Glocula, gonna shoot ya. Why do women's clothing designers believe that girls do not need pockets? It's so they can sell us bags. Mother fuck! I'll put my music on shuffle and be pissed if I don't get the right song. Plot twist, I have no idea what the right song is, but we'll know it when I hear it. Don't eat the rich, that's tainted meat. Decompose the rich. Mm. Because this tumbler totally needed a coyote in a purse. Um, excuse me, sir. That is my emotional support trickster god. Thank you. Why do movies show nerdy girls as carrying a billion books and then portray them as physically weak? If a girl can carry the Harry Potter series, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and all of her textbooks, then she could probably lift a protagonist football star and throw him across the football field. It's true. Writing prompt. Cthulhu, as an eldritch being, sees humans as humans see insects, which is to say, harmless but inexplicably terrifying. Cthulhu chasing humanity around with a shoe while crying. Minecraft? Seth Everman? Are, are you two politely acknowledging each other in a hallway? Men want her. Women want to be her. Children befriend her, but their parents fear her. Doctors hate her, and police officers head explode in her presence. Scientific consensus on her nature and origins has not been reached. Authorities warn civilians to stay away from her and report any sightings immediately. Jolene. How to do everything last minute, a novel by me that I'm going to write later. Wait, didn't I already do this one? Ah, I'll think about it later. Another anecdote from Greek class. Apparently there's an episode in the Bible where Jesus asks Peter, do you love me, using a form of the verb... I'm not even gonna try. I already hate it when I mispronounce words, I'm not even gonna try. Using a form of the verb that means love, but like in the cosmic religious sense of the word. And Peter says yes, but he uses the word that also means love, but much more general, casual way. So basically, Jesus Christ, Son of God, asks Peter if he loves him, and Peter says, yeah, as a friend. <laughs> I can't believe the Messiah got friend-zoned. Girl stares outside of the window on train, looking pensive. Boy, she's so beautiful, so thoughtful. My manic pixie dream girl. Girl to herself. How many donuts can I stuff in my mouth at one time? The worst kind of griffin would be a fox seagull. Screams all day and all night and is definitely in your garbage. Can you imagine life in a world with this flavor of griffins instead of some majestic lion eagle soaring through the skies deep in the untouched wilds? You'd be stuck trying to drive a raccoon crow, a creature that would fight God for half a bagel, from your garbage bin with only a broom and an oven mitt to defend yourself. That sounds a lot more realistic. Today I learned America's big four rival pizza chains, Domino's, Papa John's, Pizza Hut, and Little Caesars, all buy their cheese from the same man, James Leprino. 
He sells one billion pounds of cheese each year. Oh my god, it's him. The big cheese! Wait, if you have social anxiety, and I have social anxiety, then who's going to order the food? Third friend who has the mom Fred anxiety override. Oh, right. Yeah, silly me. I haven't seen anyone mention the greatest cultural impact Yahoo Answers has made yet. Are you tired of being nice? Don't you just want to go ape shit? Do you think if student loans did a long apology video with no ads on, they would be forgiven already? Staff deactivated? What? What? Oh my god, Frankenstein fleeing from his own monster! So one might ask, how do I, as a Muppet, record for these videos when I am so small? The answer is very, very carefully. Please find me a home. Are you a boy or a girl? Not to my knowledge. Can't believe that pioneer women used to churn butter for hours without even listening to a podcast about Bigfoot. Historically, when performing long, repetitive tasks like churning butter or weaving cloth, people would sit together and tell stories. Folk stories, fairy tales, and even stories about mysterious ape-like creatures living in the forest. So, yes, pioneer women did listen to podcasts about Bigfoot while churning butter. Wow. Every time I see not a suggestion, my brain is like, ah, this is a mandatory order then. Not a suggestion, enforceable by several dandies in incalculably large wigs. Mm -hmm. I love to make up phrases and slap, if you know what I mean, on the end. It implies there's meaning to it, and it leaves the recipient wondering. Well, I too like to shake up the old bag of hammers, if you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean, my dude. Therapists are just common sense filters. Me. Yeah, so I don't have the energy to, like, get up and make myself a sandwich or wait for something to cook, so I just don't. Her. Why don't you just eat the sandwich components without putting them together? What? You can just eat a handful of cheese and some sandwich meat. You don't have to make a sandwich. What? People who would fight the entire world for each other but complain and call each other stupid fucking idiots about it the entire time is the ultimate relationship dynamic. Can't judge me otherwise. I just saw something on TikTok saying if you understand this, you probably have ADHD. Five is the most even odd number, and six is the oddest even number. Why can I understand this? I- Wait! The year is 2040. You are the last smoker alive. The quit smoking ads get personal. You walk into Times Square, a giant billboard lights up reading, The hot barista you Facebook stock doesn't like smokers. You walk back into the subway and go home. Does anyone ever do the opposite of dissociate? Like when you're just suddenly and uncomfortably aware of your situation and reality? More to the point, why do I get that feeling when I'm sitting on top of my kitchen table watching a Velveeta mac and cheese pack spin in the microwave for three and a half minutes and I'm just like, I exist, I am here, and there's nothing I can do about it. When you roll a nat 20 on perception, but there's nothing to perceive. Okay, this one wins. Everyone can stop for vloggings now. Go home. Who the fuck thinks I want to see three completely identical, smooth blue men get absolutely soaked in paint that they tap off their little drums? Nobody. Hmm. Sounds like you're jealous they didn't let you in the group. Hey gang, I'm ordering $14 worth of soda and nothing else from my local Domino's. I am very thirsty. Your order is in the oven. You better fucking not have! What are you doing in this abandoned water treatment plant? Trying to figure out who abandoned all this water. Do you want to drink some with me? Already pulling out my comically long silly straw? I thought you'd never ask. Not trying to be rude, but I love posts on here where I learn a completely new thing that immediately gets refuted in the same post. Ah, net zero information. Oh, I love it when I do that shit on videos and have a comment that's like, Um, well actually! If the U.S. military gets their hands on Dracula, we are so fucked! This post was a lot funnier to me when I was high. Actually, you just basically described the plot of Blade Trinity, sans the U.S. military. Well, I must bid you all farewell. Mwah! You take one point of poison damage. You take one point of poison damage. You take one point of poison damage. You take one po- Many scientists proclaim that during an eclipse, this is what it looks like. However, I believe upon further inspection, and with a trained eye, perhaps we can see the true form. Zooming and enhancing image. Truly outstanding. Well, it was high time to bring this back. You ready to rock, CC? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, question one. 
Sienna, do you ever use your hair as a chair? Oh, all the time. It's really handy since most chairs on Earth can't accommodate my hair. On the subject of that, most worry about my neck with my hair. I'm here to tell you it's A-OK. -okay. Trust me. I've lived long enough in the universe to handle it just fine. <laughs> Number two, let's see. Uh... Sienna gives off pansexual energy for no reason. Is it okay if I HC her as pan? <gasps> Is she canonically pan? <laughs> you don't have to headcanon that, you earthlings would say, because it's absolutely true. Doesn't matter what you identify as, just be good to me and I'll be holding your hand in no time. See? Focus. Oh, sorry! <laughs> Question three. What's your favorite mythical creature? <gasps> Dragons! Earthlings made so many beautiful designs of them! From small, big, fluffy, sharp, long, two wings, many wings, some that can morph like me, some become elements of nature, the creativity is incredible! It helps when they have a source material to use on that. Question four! Does your hair get tangled? <laughs> All the time. Mainly because it's already tied up, so if it gets snagged on one thing, it's a mess right away. Luckily, I can snap my fingers and fix it right away. I can't imagine the trouble it would be if I couldn't. Poor humans. Yep, big rip. All right, question five. Have any small creatures tried to hide in your hair? Goodness, humans are fascinated by hair, aren't they? <laughs> well, Grape likes to sneak in there when we visit Earth. I had to establish certain rules with him, because he would try to sneak in food. <sighs> I came home once, noticing I had fries lodged in my hair bun. Not even magic can clean out the smell of fries. That would never sound like a problem on Earth, really. Question six! What's your favorite pupper breed? And also remember to take care of your mental health. You too, PM. Ah, thanks. Uh, they say she smells nice. I adore... Samoyeds! They're so big and fluffy, they're like big boofing clouds and just... Ah! That little boof they do is the most precious thing in the universe! <laughs> if I could sneak them into my place back home, I would. But alas, at least I have a big plushie of one. I'll settle for that, I guess. You're welcome, by the way. <clears throat> Question seven! Whenever Sienna understands something, does she go, oh, I see? No, but now I may start doing that. God damn it. Question eight. Your favorite type or flavor of cake? <gasps> There's chocolate cake and carrot cake and spiced vanilla cake and strawberry and cream shortcake and raspberry and mocha cake and red velvet cake and New York cheesecake and... I think a shorter list is what cake Sienna doesn't like, which doesn't exist yet. Next question. Exactly how strong are you? Because I've seen that you're serious about working out. So the perks of being, well, celestial, I guess, is most of what I need is just pure energy to do things, not muscular strength like earthlings. Which is probably for the best, because after all, I gotta hold these two bad boys up. Sienna! What? I was talking about your channel and your spirits! Uh, uh, oh. Uh, actually, that does remind me. You can shapeshift, so why did you pick that shape? Oh, well, that's easy. It's because it's cute. Valid? Anyway, next to last question. Can you give us some inspiring words of confidence? And maybe a hug? I know life is hard right now. And it's easy to say when I'm out... I'm trying to be supportive, but my tongue won't work! No, it's okay, work. it's okay. Just start over. Start over. <clears throat> I know life is hard right now, and it's easy to say when I'm outside looking in, but I know all of you are trying your best to overcome your problems, and I just want you to know I am really proud of you. You got this. And final question. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> to Sienna, do you actually know how to beatbox, or was that just a one-time joke for the Friday Night Funkin' music video? Uh, oh, um, well, I had some help on that. 
But I could try it for real with you guys. Okay, you ready? Okay, here we go. It's the beatbox. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? That's what I was told. No, 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 no. Yeah, you say no, boots no, and no. cats. You, you do the noise. You don't actually say the words. You know, like boots, cats, boots, cats. Oh! Let me try. Let me try. Okay. Boots and cats. 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 <laughs> oh, I'm no good at this. I guess I could practice more. I had so much fun doing this, you guys. Thank you so much for all your questions. Be sure to ask lots more, okay? I can't wait for the next video. If you guys want to ask her more questions, you just got to hit up Tumblr. And to make sure that we actually see it for the video, start it off with 2Sienna. See you later!